Hey guys, so I just needed to talk to you just for a minute. So you guys might be wondering why we're making these videos. We're gonna have a lot of content coming up where it's really difficult to find the information and we're gonna try to make it simple for you so that you can watch a short video and understand how to do something yourself. Saving you time and money um, and we get to do what we love to do and videotape those projects. Um, so that's why we're gonna have so much fun starting this YouTube channel. Um, so please support us by liking us and commenting and uh, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash take charge and DIY. Hey guys, so uh, we're underneath the sink again and I just want to show you real quick how the water flows through here. The way we have it set up right now is that the water comes in this front housing and this is in there. But to modify this system, we're going to install this reverse osmosis membrane right here after this first one. So this will go in here and get plumbed in after the first carbon filter. Now, the tank will go back in here somewhere and the tank will go in there after the reverse osmosis housing. And then after everything, then it goes through this last carbon filter and then it'll get distributed up into the sink and up into the ice maker um, where we have a separate spigot for that. Now let me show you uh, where the water is actually being supplied from. As you can see on this left valve here, um, there's actually a quarter inch flexible tubing coming off of that and going into the reverse osmosis system into that housing. Um, let me uh, get behind the camera and show you how that's routed. So as you can see, it comes right off of there, comes down, and then just goes right into this front housing here. Now if you didn't have this particular part, uh, I'm sure your local uh, home improvement warehouse will have something like that, just a uh, T connector so you can hook up your faucet and your reverse osmosis system and have it shut off for both of them. Alright guys, now that you've seen what we have underneath the sink, now I'm going to show you what we have to add to that. Um, underneath the sink, originally why we decided to go with the standard 10 inch canisters is because they're really cheap and the filters are really cheap and the filters are bigger so it's going to last you longer um, saving money in the long run and that's really what we want to do when we're talking about DIY stuff. So in those filters the first housing is going to contain a carbon block filter and I've chosen a 0.5 micron carbon block filter made in the good old US of A because I like supporting my country and there you go. It's going to come in here first and then after it goes through that filter then it's going to go into the reverse osmosis membrane. Now check this out. The water comes in this little tiny hole right here and then goes through here. This reverse osmosis membrane is actually going to be inside here and it's going to come out this side in the middle and then uh, you know any uh, rinsing of the membrane is gonna happen here. So you can check that out, you know what I'm saying? Woo! All right, so let's put this guy back together. Oh my goodness. All right, so now it's gone through the carbon, it's gone through the reverse osmosis membrane, and the membrane is gonna take almost all of the contaminants out of the water, including the salt from our water softener. And then after that, we're going to put in a T-junction. And the T-junction is going to go to the tank. And then after the tank, after everything, we're going to go through a second carbon filter. This is the exact same 0.5 micron carbon block filter. Um, and that is what it's going to go through last in case there's any residual taste in the tank. Now this is a traditional way to set up the system and it seems pretty easy. So uh, 
This is all the parts that we have here. In the next video, we're going to show you how to install it since now you know how everything works. So, let's do it.